Hi, guys. Welcome to the uh, next uh, episode of Agents on Mask. I'm super excited to introduce an um, amazing, talented individual, another guy from uh, the Holland. And uh, we have with us today Ad Vectorize from Instagram, famous for his Hi amazing <laughs> free toy boxes, and it's Dick, right? So yes. Dick, thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, it's, thank it's, you for having me. It's it's such an such an honor to to have you with us, and I've known you for for quite a while. <clears throat> I remember, I think we we had a chat a while back. Um, I first knew about you 2017, I think. I checked my Instagram. I sent you the very first message, and that, be, yeah. and that first message is going to be right here. I'm going to show you that message. Everyone's going to see yeah, it on cool. the screen. It's going to be on the screen. The yeah, first cool. picture that I clipped and showed, it says it can't display it, but that's fine. You then sent me another picture of it in better details, and that was for a T-Bob, a German sure. Euro T-Bob, which I'm sure. a huge T-Bob fan. And I saw that. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy is awesome. And we chatted there um, for quite a while about that. And then I vanished from the yeah. scene. I came back. Um, and beginning of this year, again, we came into contact because of this awesome Panini sticker sheet. And since yeah. then, we chat like a few times a week. We're like, yeah, it's it's. I feel like I've I've known you forever, but... Thank you so much for joining. I, yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe what I want to do is I want to find out your experience in masks because I think the, the most fascinating thing about what I want to make the series really um, a home for is we want to know not just meeting amazing individuals who create phenomenal products, but I want to know the, the man, the, the individual, how did masks come into your life? What, what, what was your first experience with mask? How, how did this whole journey start? Because we're all now, what, we're over 40, right? Yeah, um, 41, 41. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're basically almost the same age. And so, yeah, what was that spark? What, what, what set you off into mask? What was your first memory of mask? Well, it's, it's funny because uh, Wes already mentioned it in his interview. It was the DJ Cat Show. And, uh, and I think... I, I think also that helped me a lot with my English, you know, because here in the Netherlands, we put everything in the English language. And, uh, and then if you want to hear it in Dutch, you just read the subtitles. So uh, I think that's a very good thing, you know, to hear also the original voices and, and, and things like that. But uh, yeah, as a kid, you know, waiting in front of the TV in my pajamas because mask was on. And of course I had love for the other cartoons, but, yeah. You know, a mask was the main thing. And I had a guy in, in my neighborhood that was also a mask fan and, and we were always together, you know, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was it. And uh, I, I just loved it ever, you know, since, since then as a kid and, so, and it never it never never faded out of my head. Basically, it was always there. Even when I grew up, it was there. And uh uh, I think even when I was 17 or something, I, I invited a buddy over to come to my attic at my parents' house. And I wasn't even collecting them, but just because, you know, we, we randomly started talking about toys. And I was like, ah, yeah, I still have it. It must be somewhere on the attic. And then we found it and we actually went playing together, like pew, 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 like, you know that. Pew, 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 yeah, pew, pew, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Making the sound effects, everything, you know, it was, uh, it was awesome. Not long, not not on a level that you think like, okay, these guys are weird, but just, just for a couple Correct. of minutes, you know? Yeah, yeah. just just to relive that awesome yeah. memory, right? Exactly. And so cartoons were the first things you got in touch with. And then I assumed, I mean, yeah. the cartoons, I think we, we don't have this nowadays. Um, I guess TV or whatever advertising laws will not allow it, but they were basically 25 minute adverts, right? For the toys, they were full on True. commercials because we wanted to, to, to get those yeah. toys. And, um, so what did you prefer? Did you enjoy the cartoons more? Or was it the toys? What, what, is, what is the thing that... that... Ah, both. I both? think both. Yeah, both. It's, it's like what you see in the cartoon, you want to relive in life. And uh, I think Mask was so deep in my mind that I would just start rebuilding stuff also with, with Lego because I didn't have a specific uh, vehicle or, you yeah. know, yeah. It's like, you know, you, sometimes I meet guys i wanted to say kids but i, I mean guys you <laughs> well, know all that, kids at heart yeah yeah exactly <laughs> no but they really have still that memory of yeah i remember standing in line with my dad and we got the i don't know the thunderhawk man i wish i had those memories and that, that those things faded you know but what i do feel you know it can be a smell it can be a i don't know all of a sudden you know you 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 feel a t-bop in your hand and then 
all of a sudden everything comes to life in your mind. You're like, oh yeah, I remember the Christmas night. I was playing on my dad's table, my parents' table, you know, and yeah, that it's re- it's weird how that works, you know. I mean, it's that, yeah. that, that. No, I fully agree. It's it's having that sensation of feeling the toy really can. It's as you said, a smell yeah. can trigger it. Uh, but yeah. we have all those memories. Panini stickers, there. for instance. Yeah, panini yeah. stickers. I'm, I'm like, I'm a yeah. sniffer, man. I swear to God, I sniff those things all day. You, you say stickers. It's like that. You know, I, I love that feel of. Um, I still remember it as the catalogs or a mask box. So you open it up and you get that that smell, the sticker sheet smell, that new print smell, a comic smell. All those things yeah. really just boom inside these memories, which I would yeah. have forgotten about. And it's, yeah. I guess deja vu, right? You, that smell triggers that memory and brings yeah. it back to the front. So the yeah. mind is a powerful thing. And I mean, yeah. toys are making us remember things. is just absolutely amazing. That's I mean, correct. it's, yeah, mask is mask. But so mask is not only mask. Because we talk about mask and that includes the whole mask first, right? A masky verse. I don't know what we call it, but it's mask and venom. Um, where did you gravitate to? Were you a, a mask agent or a venom agent? Well, ba- based on the vehicles that I like, I would say Venom Agent. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I, as a kid, I wanted Venom to win or anything. I don't think it's like that uh, <laughs> because I have my my mask, uh, you know, favorites also. But the yeah. the lineup for me in 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 vehicles is Jackhammer first, Manta second, Raven third. Okay. You know, Th- those are my I don't know those are my favorite vehicles. You know, and. Uh, uh cliff dagger for example is my favorite figure yeah that's the one good old cliff and yeah. he's he's kind of interesting because he was quite short right compared to the other figures I mean, look short, at him next, yeah, yeah look at him next to i mean you can't see their feet because i'm covering it up but their feet are side by side he's yeah. uh he's on a different I, th- I think that played a role because you know i'm dutch everybody is two meet two meters here and i'm <laughs> one meter 70 you know so, so maybe that helped <laughs> you you, you <laughs> saw I yourself in cliff <laughs> yeah I got I got Cliff's arms, maybe you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> what about um, yeah. what? What is it about um, Jackhammer that 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 draws you to it? Well, what's what's so? Well, I know I know uh, my 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 buddy, the, the the guy that lived in my block, you know that that would have it, and uh, he also had the Manta. I, I, w- I would play with those all the time. You know, I would pick those out. Just play with it, you know. And I didn't have it as a kid, mm. and that's weird. Also, it's like didn't I communicate with my parents? You know, because they gave me a Boulder Hill, for example. Wow. But why didn't I have the jackhammer? You know, what, what happened there? So th- th- those things I would want to know. And uh, but I don't know. It, it's just, uh, yeah, also with the figure, you know, like Cliff Dagger, he had that mask. And, you know, as a kid, you would first play with Lego. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I love the Lego Knights. You know, I think you were I, I was like around eight. Think think something like that. You know, then those those toys came out. The Lego Knight, you know, you had the, the helmets that were like this, and then you had this this stripe here. The stripe here, and, yeah. And that, exactly, and and I loved those. I really loved those. But then, for instance, Cliff Dagger came, and the helmet from him, you know, kind of looked like it. And I think that passion that I had for the Lego figure went into Cliff Dagger, and that's where where he became my favorite character. Yeah. I mean, it really yeah. is. You're, you're right. It's it's quite similar this the style of the helmet yeah. it's it's not just the color but it's i guess the yeah. torch mask having the slit here or if you look fine depends on the short versus the long versions yeah um yeah but i love the short one more did you get the short ones in the netherlands because yeah. it was you yeah. did match you did have uh, it i think i think they came out here yeah but i'm not 100 percent sure okay. i'm not 100 yeah but i mean it's and uh it is not no no i, I just I, you know it, it you can see also that I was already uh, selecting my items based on transformation and, and, and looks, you know? So maybe there I already knew that I wanted to become a designer because a lot of people say like, ah, you know, I love that character because he was badass or he had good jokes. With me, it was like, no, he looked cool. Uh, the, 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 you know, everything on the vehicle looked nice and it was perfect, you know, and, and that kind of stuff, you know? It's, it's uh, I mean, that were... was just a clean vehicle, you know? It's just super... It is. I found though, as a, uh, I did have Jackhammer as a kid. I never had Manta and Manta was one of my favorites. So I fully resonate with, yeah. with what you said. Did I not communicate? Yeah. Because I also had quite a few, few toys. I never yeah. got Boulder Hill, but I had Rhino and I had quite a few of the other big ones, but I never got yeah. Manta. And I always remember wanting Manta and it's probably now in my top three list as well. 
And I see this with a lot of collectors. Some of their favorite toys are ones they didn't have, but they remember playing mm. with other people. So I love yeah. Firefly. I never had a Firefly mm. as, a, as a kid. And all right, all I right. think it's that not having had it makes you yearn it even more in a way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but no, I think... I only had the, the small vehicle. We we weren't weren't really rich, but my dad was was actually really cool. What he did is like when he would get his uh, holiday money from work, he would uh, he would buy toys for me, you know. So that's that that is really cool. Like that's wonderful. And, uh, and he would definitely put it in Lego because I think deep inside he liked Lego more than me, you know. <laughs> and uh, and he uh, he was even. Uh, he saw he saw the creativity of the toy, you know, like this is good for my kid. He he can learn yeah. about things. You can start building. You 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 know you you stimulate your creative mind. And uh, and I got the Boulder Hill ones. That was also nice. But my Christmas was always like this. And I tell people this. This is this is so cool because I once posted a picture of my vehicles in box, you know, and people thought they were brand new. I was like, no, they're not brand new. I said I played with these. They were mine, you know. <laughs> But my dad would buy me something, give it to me on Christmas, wrapped, you know, or on my birthday. I could take the wrapping off, but then he took the box out of my hand. He would get a knife exactly the way a collector now would open a sealed box, which they will never do. But let's say, and he would open it up, <laughs> open the thing, get the toy out, put everything back together and put it on the attic. He said, I paid for the box and the box needs to be clean. So I think, I think he was already collecting for me, you know, basically, you know, and, and I, that, think I think that's also the good part of being poor because, you know, I had a lot of friends, you know, they would have, uh, you know, the, the double beds. How do you say the bunker beds or yep, you call it? Yep, yeah, bunker beds, right? Yeah, bunk so beds, they yep. would be on top. You know, and then they would have, uh, I don't know, a Thunderhawk or something. And then they would like throw it off because, yeah, because Thunderhawk needs to fly, right? Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, I, 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 yeah, I was never like that because if I did that, my dad would kill me. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's yeah. I, I, I've, I've seen those boxes and I'm also one of these who commented. I remember mm. seeing your Boulder Hill box was, was like gosh, it looks like it's come straight out. We'll go have a look at it. I'm sure it's, I can see, it. Can oh, see I can, right I, I can see the top of that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it looks like new old stock. Like you'd see it in a, a shop. In fact, yeah. I was at a shopping mall today and looking at the condition mm. of the boxes there of new toys, your Boulder Hill looks better than the, the toys I'm seeing uh, in, in, the, in the malls today. Yeah. Yeah. You brought up a really good point, I want to say, about the designs of um, masks. And I think they were, so I wouldn't even say far ahead of their time because nothing has been made, in my opinion, at that same kind of level of quality, detail, and thought <laughs> into the design process. And you said that kind of stimulated you to potentially at least a seed, right? It's like inception. You got that little seed, yeah. creativity. You've got Lego, which is giving you creativity. You've got Mars, yeah. which has got this amazing transformation. Find us Transformers. Were you ever into Transformers? Were you a Transformer no. guy? No, I mean really it's weird. I G.I. Joe and Transformers never never reached me. I was uh, well, Mass of the Universe, yeah, Starcom, yeah, uh, 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 Visionaries, yeah, and then uh, my main second second love is Filmation Ghostbusters. Everybody yeah. loves the real Ghostbusters, but I'm I'm into the Filmation Ghostbusters just because that toy line. I think it's the best toy line that resembles. The characters in the, in the cartoon they are like they were like grabbed out of the cartoon and put in real life it, it, it's it's perfect the perfect. design is, is 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 quite uh, impressive you're right i actually never yeah. thought of it that way they do mimic nearly all the other toys the figures look weird i mean i'm looking here at um mm. our little uh, princess here right so yeah yeah vanessa warfield she really doesn't look anything much like her her cartoon and True. True. i uh, I mean, the colors, the suit, it's just the face. They never got the faces mm. right. But the Filmation Ghostbusters, I guess, because they're a little bit bigger, you're able to yeah. get that detail into it. Sure. Uh, and the other one is Gloria Baker, who I think really doesn't look much mm. at all like, I mean, fine. She was never in the cartoon in her in her stiletto outfit, but the face doesn't resemble. So, yeah, yeah. It, all, it comes down to design. But Musk, their strength, I guess, wasn't their figures. I mean, I love the figures, don't get me wrong, but it's, 
And the figures were awesome because they help you relive the cartoon, but it was the vehicles, sure. that transformation. And yep. that transformation seemed to have transformed you into this amazing designer. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to chat to you today was this amazing range of products. I won't say a product, it's this range, and that is your free toy boxes. And yeah. I think this is a good yeah. time. Do you have one with you right now that I could have a look at? Uh, maybe yeah, let's start I with the, the collector. Yeah, that was the first, the, the, the first, first one, one. Yeah, so we should start. That was start. this one. Yep. So that's if you can just grab it over. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Cool. Thank you. So let's all just bask in its glory for a little bit, and we're going to do the spin, which is in keeping with my site. I think. Um, yeah, you did all the spins like this for the website, right? Uh, they were, of course. It was. Um, my, yeah. I was holding it, and my son was videoing it. And exactly. Yeah. Um, I've got very steady hands. I guess it's something for my profession. But yeah, no. <laughs> this is the one product I remember when it came out. You you kind of set the social media sites completely ablaze. But yeah, tell yeah. us a little bit about this this box. I mean, what 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 yeah. brought about this amazing box? What was your inspiration for starting this? Um. Well, to be to be really, yeah. Do you want the long story or the short story? Man, I'll give you the whole story. I'll give, give us the whole story. Give us the whole story. Yeah. So, as you know, I'm I'm not really active on social media. Well, I do have Instagram. My Instagram is a love hate relationship. Sometimes I just take everything off, and I'm like, I'm done with this, you know. And then sometimes I start posting stuff. But uh, I. Uh, I got introduced, you know, Sebastian Schulz uh, from Dusseldorf. He's a super close buddy to me, you know, mein Brudi, as yeah. they would say in, uh, in, German. in Germany. Yeah. And uh, nah, he's just a really fun guy. So he's, the, he's like the only guy that I was really in contact with, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like that. You know, if I feel a connection with a guy, then, you know, I'll let you into the world and we become buddies, you know, just yeah. like, like we are in, and uh, I saw that also a lot happening on, on social media. Like yeah. you would have a collector that just started and he has the Thunderhawk in his hand. Like, look what I found on the flea market. It's a Thunderhawk. And yeah, exactly. And I would be like, oh my God, that's amazing. Really cool. You know, like encourage them. And there would always be a guy that shares a link and say like, look at my collection. I have 20 Thunderhawks in sealed boxes. And I'm like, yeah, but you probably don't have friends. But um, <laughs> so that's why I thought, like, I, I have to make something that is cool, that everyone can pay, you know, just to spice it up. Because, you know, if you look at the Masters of the Universe community, these guys are getting too big, you know. They're getting too big, and I, I don't accept that. You know, we, we, have to, we have to go to the left lane and pass, you know, we have to pass them, you know. So... I thought like nobody's really, you know, well, there are guys making stuff. And, but I, I was like, okay, what can we do to make it really big, you know, to, to uh, you know, help getting community bigger. So I thought like, okay, you know, those, those free toy boxes can be cool to remake, you know, because Corona came and I thought like, okay, I will, I will not have shit to do because I have my own company. And I thought like, okay, it will go downwards. And uh, so I thought I will have a lot of time. Well, actually I didn't because work went up and I already decided to make the boxes. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of work to do, but that's how I started with the boxes. And I saw those, those red boxes and I thought like, I think I can, I can redo them and they are so rare and everybody would want to have one. You are so, full uh, so do you yeah. know the story behind these? Like these were from, yeah. from Singapore, right? So I, yeah, yeah, sure. I I'm from Singapore myself. I first, I mean, I, I, don't ever remember. I mean, even holding it, although I said holding something stimulates a memory, it just for some reason hasn't stimulated it. But I, at least the toy shop where I was buying my mask from, I don't remember seeing the yellow stickers. And I think sure. it might have been something with the larger toy shop, maybe things like Toys R Us. But I'd just love if anyone knows or remembers which shop you bought this from in Singapore or even Malaysia. I think yeah. in the southern part, like JB area, Malaysia, they had these as well. Um, let me know, you know, comment down below and um, we can kind of use that to share with the community. But yes, it was, um, as you said on here, right? Buy two and you get yeah. uh, a collector. Yeah. And 
these things are rare. These are so wow. rare. And I, I just love the work you've done with this, that you've allowed now our community to finally have the chance to, for everyone to, or at least exactly. to some degree, own one. And I just want to, yeah. you know, kind of put side by side, just, just to show that you are not missing out by not having the real thing when you have this, because this actually in a way looks better than the real thing because it's nice and crisp and shiny. If you're into clean boxes, you're not going to ever find a real free toy collector as this because you see, so you put them side by side, they are pretty darn amazing. Yeah. But there just, is one color difference, but color, but you know what? If, if you put the color, it's age as well. So, yeah. I mean, this one, you can see there's a bit of, it's like a yellow filter, like an Instagram filter has been stuck on it and yeah. put that bit of yellowing, but it's, mm. it's pretty amazing. And I, I can't recall in, even in the style guides where they have an orange to know the Pantone or the hex code, whatever for it is. We do know it for the reds, but I'm not sure. I think it was meant to be red. It's a bit weird yeah. if mask would suddenly go orange when everything else, I mean, red's my favorite it's color red. and that kind of drew sure. me also to mask. Yeah. But you've done something in your boxes, which might seem like a small thing, but is, um, in my opinion, a really massive thing. And that is your replica yeah. box. Why did you put that on? Uh, because I know the guys, you know, I know what they will do. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, I know you, what they will do. And, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you said it right off the bat. I mean, I remember this. So uh, when you had this on Instagram, people just went nuts. When this was on Facebook, yeah. people went nuts. And your stuff has got a black market value now as well. I've seen people trying to sell your sets for five times the value of these prices. So maybe you want to set the record straight. How much are these going for? How much did they go for? Yeah, like I said, you know, like, yeah, I know a lot of guys that have amazing stuff and they, they, you know, they go for 500 euros and stuff like that. And there are guys out there that pay it. I'm, I'm one of those idiots that did that also. I prefer to not do, but sometimes you have to. That but, one piece, um, right? That special piece, yeah. Exactly. When it's really special, you know. Mm. But I know there's a lot of people out there. I know how it is to be poor and you want to do something and you, you really are committed to, you know, going to flea markets and stuff like that. You know, so I thought, like, you know, I want to make something... That is for the whole community, not 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 just the the main guys that have like, oh, what do you want for it? Oh, I'll have it, you know. Right. Not none of those guys do everyone. And uh, so I made him fifteen euros, and I saw indeed what you said. You, you know, I don't have Facebook, but I saw what they were doing. Everybody was sending me screenshots. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's trying to. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. But the, you know, I, I don't mind. You know, it like yeah, it's sad, but I don't mind. But w once they start acting like they are already sold out and they have the last one, yeah, that that makes me, uh, you know, I don't like that. You know, I but, actually took them offline because I got so busy. I sold like sixty in the first week, <laughs> and then I realized what a pain in the ass it is to pack all these things. And uh, I had, I had, for instance, to give you an example, I had three Garys. <laughs> One Gary, I think one Gary was from Scotland, the other one was from England, and there was a Gary somewhere else. And then I was like, okay, this is Gary number one, this is Gary number two, this is Gary number two. What did he want? Okay, he wanted the Venom Revenge and the Rescue Mission. The other one wanted uh, the, the Rescue Mission and the Free Collector. And I had to check, you know, some guy paid with credit card, the other paid with, with PayPal, the other wanted to send over the money. I'm like, ah, oh, man. I had uh, WhatsApp messages, I had Instagram requests, I had... People that know a guy that might know, you know, want something. And then uh, I had to, yeah. So it was uh, a lot of work, a lot of work, man. Man, I, I, fun. Fun. I, I can imagine. So yeah. you sold 60. How many of these have you made, yeah. like, in total? Like, is it a limited 100. run? Are you going to print more? 100. And is that it? That's, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So in a Just way, to, these to are going to become, they're going to become a rare commodity. So yeah. its price might, might go up. Um, yeah. If people want to get them, can they get it yeah. still through you? Because, I mean, we got... I mean, yeah. those at of the us moment who got it. Can still, at the moment, they can still get it. I have with the free toy and the, the rescue mission are, uh, I think I have like maybe 10 or 20 left. I'm, wow. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but uh, next week, I will visit uh, Steinerdorf uh, and uh, we will do a release of the new product, which we're going to talk about later, I think. Mm. Um, and uh, well, there, there I want to 
put all the boxes so okay. we will sell them through so, that store and so in yeah. reality because Do they have more time also to pack in and yeah, yeah. so if they yeah. want it they gotta <laughs> jump on the bandwagon if not they gotta get in touch with steinerdorf and we're gonna put the link yeah. for steinerdorf um downstairs yeah. i mean below right yeah. not downstairs and the, by the way the venom the venom revenge stays in my uh okay you know you can because you know i'm i'm sending the money to sharon so uh okay yeah. and that, that is an amazing box but We'll come to that because we'll that, to that one is a really special one and we're going to spend a little bit more time on that one because that is yeah. that is on a different level. I mean, they're all amazing. And I guess once you have one, the it, but that one is, is something different. Your next one was um, Rescue Mission, Rescue right? Mission. So true, let's, true. Let's, let's grab one of those. Let me see. Uh, Got it there? Yeah, you should have a couple. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you, yes, please. You pass that over. Awesome. All right. So let's have a little peek and look at rescue mission and we got some amazing graphics of Rusato on the front with t-bob and i just love the back graphics so this is just absolutely insane but i just it's my favorite to... it's my favorite box i just love the format you know it's yeah. uh cool i mean how did you go about designing these because again let me just before we answer that let me just put these side by side okay what's incredible is Look at the you've you've kind of hit them yeah. spot on. I mean, not just your but I'm I'm a little lost for words as you can see. How on earth did you go about um, designing these? Like, yeah. do you want to tell me the story of of how yeah. these came to be? Or I yeah, mean, sure, yeah. I, I would love to know because you're a designer, right? By by trade or yeah. by you, um, and obviously it shows. I, I don't think a layman could go about mm. and and do something to this level because this is not a scan in right this is uh you have gone no. and you have gone and done these yourself remade it yeah you, you yeah. remade it you remade it yeah. yeah i thought like how can i get the best quality well then you have to have everything in vector vector art um yeah. and it started with the love for the boxes you know i just love the design i don't know it has an 80s feeling and it's so different than the other toys uh, the toy boxes and the now, what I did is I searched for the original images I, uh, you know, from, from that I found online. But sometimes the, the pictures would be crooked, you know, they would stand like this. And I had to have the front, you know, and so I had to like... And it's skewed, right? And Photoshop. Yeah, skew it and, and, and those things. So I had to tweak it in Photoshop. Um, I had a little help from uh, Sebastian as well, uh, because when I started with the collector, uh, I was assuming that the box would be the same size as the regular collector. That's mm. what we aim for. And uh, so I, I, I uh, asked Sebastian to, to give me the measurements. And that's when I had those sizes. But I think I also reached out to you to just double check if everything was correct yeah. or not. Was and, the collector? Um, oh, collector yeah. 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 But the cool thing is the collector was quite easy because on the, on the insert, the manual that comes with the collector, uh, it has the original images that are also used on this box. So I had them really sharp. Uh, so I took pictures of that and scanned it and then traced it and then refined everything, you know, just to make sure that they, you know, play, first of all, play with the settings to get the, the blackness out. Yeah. And then when, when, when they were crisp, I got them to, uh, to Illustrator. And there I uh, made sure that I uh, image traced them into uh, vector arts. And there I could still tweak it and, and, yeah. uh, and then make it red and then put them on. Uh, but then, you know, I put the pictures in the back and then placed all the elements on top and then retyped the text. So the text is also, I had to find the font that was correct. Uh, the, 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 the bigger fonts also, they were quite hard because, uh, I couldn't find anything that looked like it. So I was like, okay, I need, I wanted to have it in a font, you know, I could of course scan it yeah. and then trace it again, but it would look horrible. And, uh, so and you'd I have to do it over and over again, right? With, so you'd, have to, you'd have to do it over and over again for all your other boxes. At least now you also, have the font. Yeah, yeah. Now I can yeah. just type it in. And uh, yeah. if somebody finds, uh, for instance, a, a uh, I don't know, can be anything, you know, uh, another. Uh, a laser uh, command. Imagine if we had a free toy laser command. Yeah, yeah, Boom. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would just put it in. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was, that was nice. That was nice. Well, it was really nice to work on. But as I said, I thought Corona would hit me, but it didn't hit me. So I had to do this all in the evening. And, uh, yeah, but the funny part was once I had one done, I placed it online 
because that was the first step. You know, I need to check what the reaction is. So how do you do that without finding, you know, letting people find out that it's fake? I just place it in, no hashtags, nothing, and shared it on Instagram because I knew, like, I know if if people go nuts, they will start sharing it with other people, you know. So I placed it online, and everyone sent me messages <laughs> like, "Where did you get it in this quality? Oh my God, the colors—they are amazing. It's crispy. This is insane. Nobody that asked me is this fake. Nobody. You know, it was like." And then I knew, like, okay, these are ready for production. Yeah. Because I did that with the sample box. There was a huge typo in it, and nobody <laughs> saw that. I was like, oh, you know. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. And that was hence fun. the need for the replica yeah. box, because I've seen yeah. a couple of people trying to mm -hmm. sell this off as the original. Oh, so, original. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, uh, when you find yeah. one, make sure you ask for a bottom. <laughs> bottom picture yeah. well i have a, i see i see a lot of facebook screenshots being sent to me you know uh, uh, bjorn and, and 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 sebastian and 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 you also you know sometimes and some guys from the uk they they send me uh, uh, a picture and then i'm like uh, jesus to see what is happening on facebook if you don't have facebook it's it's funny to see you know but uh, uh yeah then then you see, see see people still ask like can you bring me in touch with the guy and then you share my email and and then they send send me an email. I give them information, but you can just feel that they are hesitating. Like, yeah, is this really that guy? You know? Yeah. And but it is. <laughs> it is. It I is. Can, I can tell you, I'm receiving your emails. Well, I am that guy. <laughs> you are, and and I've I've got some, and I got it through that same email address. I mean, of course, I knew you, so it makes it a little easier. But I do understand that hesitancy, and I think it's important to for us to have due diligence and make sure you're dealing with the right person, right? You don't want to be dealing with with a fake. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just like mesmerized by this. Mm. What was the hardest part? What was the hardest part to, in making these parts? Especially, let's, because we talk about the collector, because that was the first one you made, right? Yeah. The rest, as you yeah. said, became a little the easier. Logo. The logo. The logo. What, what, yeah. was the, what was the hard part with the logo? The logo is completely different than other logos. You know, yeah. you have the black and white ones, for instance, on the manuals, you have the colored ones on the, on the, on the front. And um, especially if you look at the explosion of the missile, Mm. That's where it got tricky. You know, that's where it really got tricky because you have the yellow in it. You have a, a specific red type yes. of color that fades into the, the, the rhino pink, yep. you know, purple pink. Oh, yeah. And I had to get that all out, you know, just to You're make right. sure that I have the exact rings of the explosion in the same colors because they completely converted it into red. And uh, that was the hardest part. That was I'll, the hardest I'll put part. up a cleaner picture mm. side by side here because I don't think that could be appreciated to really see the difference between yeah. the this black and white. You're right. I, I never, yeah. I mean, I pay attention to, to look at my toes, but I didn't really notice. You're right. The red and of the missile, the explosion really yeah. fades into the, what do you call rhino? What color is rhino? Would you say it's a pink or a purpley yeah, or a lavender? Purple, purple, yeah, pink. It, it really blends into it. But yeah, this purple, is just. Purple, this is, red, yeah. This is, okay, so the logo, but I guess you had yeah. that logo once and you were able to at least have that yeah. as, a, as, a, as a basis for the, the rest. Yeah. And that brings us to the third in the series. Yeah. Which one's that? The special Venom's one. Revenge. The, the special one. This one, we're going to really uh, like, okay, let's pass that over. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. So let's, mm. let, let's just bask in this a little bit. And we're going to show the front. Mm. So the graphics. <sighs> I'm not going to spin anything over yet. Good. This one is uh, super special. Unfortunately, this one, if what's interesting is I want you everyone to notice this is not the same as the box art graphics. Yeah. Right. Right. Sorry, unfortunately, I pulled up one that has a sticker on in front of it. And hmm. um, I know Dick loves this one. That's why I'm using this particular Venom's Revenge, the free, the free offer. I love it. The, love the free it. offer. And you have an amazing piece of your one. We all will see it later yeah. in better condition than mine. Um, but this this is special because the front looks very similar in the style to Rescue Mission. You've got True. the logo, you've got the name, you've got the artwork, the free toy box. The sides have got similar things, but it's where we move to the back that we really are quite different. And this was a special box because this one has a lot more meaning than, than just the others. And I'm not sure, did they ever release a Venom's Revenge box that you, you know of? 
I no. I honestly no. can't remember. If anyone knows, no. if you've ever seen no. one in the community, do let us know. Comment down below. Yeah. But regardless whether it came out or not, it's here now. And everyone can yeah. get one of these now because this one is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. The artwork's awesome. It fits with the collection. But more than that, it has meaning. And its meaning is it's, uh, it's helping our childhood heroes, uh, Brendan yeah. McCain. So how, how did this get started? You want to maybe... Well, that, that's where the, the other product comes in, uh, which, uh, which I'm going to tell you about. <gasps> which we're okay. going to... Yeah. I think you, you probably saw already some, uh, you know, so, some little teases. I, I see. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps now, even just thinking about it. So I, I I've seen the teasers. I'm going to put that teaser picture here right now. Yeah. So guys, just enjoy this artwork that you're seeing right now. This is yeah. all that was put as a teaser online, and I had in my head. I think I know what it is, and I'm going to say it now, and then you're going to tell me if I'm right or not. Oh, I will find out if I'm not. I'm convinced that this is going to be a calendar. It's just there's various hints that have that have come out that I thought there's a front, and there's been some artwork and some photos that someone else yeah. who's part of the project put up. So I think this is going to be a calendar. No, no calendar, man. No calendar. No. Okay. No. I will tell you. I'll tell you. Okay. Because I promise that you will be the first one to know. I uh, touched it. We are, we are going to do the release at Steinendorf in Dusseldorf. Um, um, I will probably, if everything goes right, the product will come in next week. And then I will go there on the weekend. Yeah. We're doing it live during a Facebook event, but we're okay. not actually sure when because we okay. need to have the product in. Yes, uh, I did. I did receive some pictures already, and it's looking, it's looking really nice. It's looking really nice. Are it's, you going to uh, share it yeah. with us? So I guess this is going Absolutely. to... Absolutely. You, can, oh you can show them. You can so show them. Yeah. this is anyways going to, I guess, I'm, well, I, I want you guys uh, and Steinerdorf to have the fun with doing that full-on release. But this is super exciting. This will come out. I guess when you've watched this, this has come out. But it might be for some of you the first time you're hearing about it. And as we can get as yeah. much um, excitement drummed into this. And when I share this on Facebook, I'm going to make sure that we put a big shout out to Steinendorf so people can run there and have a look. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And also the reason, the reason I'm doing it at Steinendorf is because I like what they're doing. I just love uh, their shop. You know, they, you know, you know, that old school skateboard store type of feeling, you know, you get in yeah. the shop, you don't buy anything. You just chill there on the couch and watch skate videos. That's a little bit what they are doing. It's just, uh, and, okay. the, and the guys are amazing. You know, they, they are not talking about what they have. They are talking what they feel, you know, and that, that to me is, is really important. Of course, so, for them, it's, it's also sales, but, you know, you, you can feel the passion, you know. It's, and, it's and a community. What, really what they're yeah, doing, I yeah. guess, sounds like a community. I mean, I'd love to hopefully one day also after Corona, if I ever make my way back up to Germany. I'm, my mom's yeah. German. The more so I have I, to I, sleep here, man. I, you I can sleep here. <laughs> I, I, I will take you up on that offer, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, I'm super excited. And you bring up Steinerdorf, they're a brick and mortar store, right? They actually have a physical shop location. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, they're we actually need one to of support the all the shops in, in, in each other's areas, you know? Yeah, exactly. I've, I've added them and they were one of the first added and one of the impetus together with one of the UK shops for starting my brick and mortar store link in the page go down there check out the yeah. shops there support them yeah. if you're in that area if you're not in those areas of those shops and there's other brick and mortar stores mm. selling toys Absolutely. i mean of course yeah. masks we're masks but if they're selling any 80s toys 90s toys please you know modern toys i mm. guess it's a bit different we're talking vintage toys we want to keep those guys going because their mm. overheads are high and their yeah. expenses are insane and they're selling the yeah. toys to the same price as for um yeah. an online shop so I really do and love that you're bringing your boxes over there to them. Yeah. So, you know, give them something yeah. else. Go local, not just for, for toys. I think for everything in general, right? Uh, we want to help yeah. the, the local community thrive in everything they do. And this ex yeah. includes coffee shops, restaurants, um, what have you. Absolutely. But I think um, you were talking about this release. I'm, see, I say the word release and I'm like, mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> You're releasing your, ah, your my, enthusiasm. All my yeah. energy is like, okay. mm, because you, you you. Blow, you've blown me a bit away. Because honestly, yeah. and guys, I really did not know what this is. I do not know what this is. Um, Dick and I have known us each other for a, a while. And we do chat like very regularly. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I've known Dick for like, since 
since I've been a kid. And that's one of the amazing things with, with this toy community. And I think people who aren't in it really can't understand it. It's like, I've, I feel like you're a childhood friend. It's, we just share that same, same passion. And so, um, and despite that, he has not led on anything and I've not pestered him. I, 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 I know he wanted to keep it to himself and Dick is one of the only guy, actually the only guy who knew about mask force before we, we launched, uh, he knew about it, I think months before we, we launched and he saw the, yeah. he, he knew about the concept before I even made it. Uh, I mean, yeah. So before it came to realism and, you saw the first version of the site. You gave some comments, and we did some changes, which I think drastically improved it. So, um, yeah. big shout out to and you! I, I, want I want people to know that you were really, and I consider you one of our. Actually, you are the first Mass Force agent in our Thank you. For, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, no, now I love, I love what you're doing also because you're you're interviewing us. But you know, it's also. <laughs> You know, you know, we can also say that we really love what you're doing. If you see, you know, a lot of people sending me messages about how great your website is. And uh, that, that shows that, you know, people were ready for something bigger and, you know, uh, more into detail. And you, you, you don't forget any small thing like comic books, cassettes, it can be anything, you know, like, and you mention it. Of course, we have to, you know, we have to figure out what, what it is. And for instance, and I heard you are now working on the variations and stuff. That is amazing because yeah. I want to know more yeah. about it because I have exactly. some variations and I don't know the history. I really don't. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it, it's, yeah. it, it was and is a labor of love and remains to be, and it's, it's done for people to enjoy it. So if people enjoy it, that kind of brings me the biggest satisfaction. We don't do this to get famous. Yeah. We don't do this to get rich. This definitely does not <laughs> generate any income. This is done um, out of passion. Out and love. that's the same yeah. thing, what you've done with your boxes. I mean, uh, the money yeah. that you, you, you get for it, barely covers Good. right and the rest of it goes to your charity boxes goes fully to uh, even even better the, the money that i spend in making it it goes to share yeah exactly yeah and we will come and talk even more about that because there's so much more we want to talk about you uh, yeah. see <sighs> but i see that i i can feel the tension of the viewers now they're like hey you mentioned a product you know exactly now you're talking I, I'm, about also like, I'm like um <laughs> i i yeah yeah Hit I'll me. tell you. I'll, tell, I'll, me. I'll, tell, I'll me. tell the whole story. Okay, let me so, sit back. Let me take a sip. And... Was there... Take a sip. I will wait. Okay. okay, I'm, I'm yeah, good now. Ready? Ready, let's okay. go. So, beginning of the year, um, I uh, started getting more active on Instagram as well, uh, especially because I think also with the corona period, you know, it, it, it went more and more. But in the beginning of the year, we didn't have corona yet, but I was thinking about, you know, making a product, you know, because I got some friends that love Mass of the Universe, and they, they every time they get the Super Seven, the the Origins, they, you know, they're spoiled, spoiled, you know. And I was yep. like, what do we get? We get nothing, you know. So I thought, like, okay, let's make let's make some mask products, you know. So um, uh, as I mentioned, you know, I got really close with Sebastian, and me and Sebastian were talking every night, and and you know, and and it's nice. And when you when you're together, you can brainstorm and see how another reacts to it. And I said, like. What if I make a new cassette? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I said, what if I make a new cassette? Because you know, in Germany, you had those 13 mm. story. Yeah, the story. Cassettes. I'll put a picture here. Yeah. People can see the picture yeah, of yeah. the cassettes. Yeah. And I was like, you know, now we are in an age that we have children. Well, I don't have kids. I have a dog. You know, <laughs> that's my kid. <laughs> But we have children that would love to hear those uh, stories, but they can't because there's no cassette deck. Well, the real 80s lovers will have a cassette deck, of course, but yeah. uh, you know, many will not have it. So I was like, okay, there's, there's, there's something I can do. You know? So I was like, okay, I will completely remake the, in, the inlay, the, the stickers of the cassette. And uh, then I looked at the cassettes and they were like black with a red sticker. And I was like, that doesn't give a mask feeling. But then, for instance, I saw the the the, the UK storybooks with the cassette on the front, mm. and they had a red cassette with a yellow sticker on it. Design-wise, I was like, "Wow, I'm blown away with these colors," you know. So I choose I chose to make a red cassette with yellow stickers, and uh, and I had the inlay ready. And now it comes. All the storybooks from Germany, the 13, because, you know, you know, when, when you, 
when you have Rocky Balboa, you know, you have all the all the yeah. all the the chapters, you know, and then when it's done, they make a collector's box, you know, where you have them all. I was like, yeah. let's make a collector's box for this. But then I thought, like, I cannot come with a regular cassette because people will be like, yeah, yeah, I cannot do anything <laughs> with it. So I made an MP3 cassette. It contains a USB stick, so it's a cassette. You push a button, and then uh, amp- uh, a USB stick falls out, and you can plug it in your computer and let your kids just listen to the stories you grew up with. So it's basically, you know, made for the German market. But I think, and you know, I think if you look at my ask, I think Germany has the most the most collectors, right? Probably the highest That's the number. I, get. I, I, I do think the highest number of mm. collectors per capita, definitely. I mean, it's so yeah. massive. I mean, even if you look at the mask market itself, the fact mm. that Kenner or Kenner Parker at that time decided to make boxes specific for the German market. I think that speaks, yeah. speaks volumes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, so that's how I came up with the idea. And then I thought like, you know, what would be nice is to add autographs with it. So we reached out to the original uh, uh, voices of the, of the cassette, but uh, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get in, talk, in contact with them. They, they were still active, but they were, behind the label so i had to contact the label and they said like yeah we will reach out to them and then we'll let you know they didn't let me know anything yeah. so i said to sebastian i said maybe it's me because i'm speaking english maybe you can do it in german maybe they help you know so he sent messages and also nothing i was like okay you know then i put it aside you know because i wanted to think further about it so i started i think i started with the collector box but then during that process i thought like what if we get the original voices from the cartoon to add autographs. That would be even cooler, you know? Exactly. That's how I got in contact with Sharon Noble. I reached out to her on LinkedIn and, uh, and she said, well, you're lucky because my husband did the voices of Miles Mayhem, uh, Alex Sector and, 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 and all those characters. Exactly. And that's how I started talking with Sharon Noble. But, we had such a nice conversation every night that the product didn't go further because it was just really nice chatting with her. She's such a lovely lady. Yeah. And, uh, but then during the process, Brandon got sick. I was like, oh no, this is not good. You know, they gave up on him. They, the only thing they could do was immunotherapy. And, uh, and then basically the whole thing, you know, switched. You know, I put the products aside. I was like, okay, I'm going to help you guys. So she already mentioned a GoFundMe account. And I said, okay, I will look into it and see what you need to do because I never did that, uh, but I will help you. And then I realized like, okay, you really have to put it up yourself because you need your credit card behind it and everything. Yeah. So she set up the GoFundMe account. Uh, and the, the cool part is like, I actually helped a professor making a book on immunotherapy. <laughs> As, and they, they, they go for like 200 euros or something. I said like, you know, I have the PDF here. If you're okay with the PDF, you can read it because it's such a, you know, a broad field. And the book was made to give you directions on which path you want to follow. And it, it's a super helpful guideline, you know. So I, I sent it to her. She was really happy. She said, ah, oh, Brendan is immediately reading it now. And he's so amazed that, that you know, you, 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 you didn't forget about him and uh, that you're still a mask fan. I said, you have no idea how many... <laughs> mask fans there are you know and uh and that's when i decided to do the venom revenge box i said you know what i'm working on these boxes and i will make a venom revenge box and all the money that we will get for it will go to your account so you can pay the hospital bills because uh, you know they you know in, they live in the u.s they don't have a healthcare system like we have here in europe so uh yeah and we did we did amazing we did amazing i i all the money that came in, I transferred to her by PayPal because uh, we, we realized that a lot of people couldn't pay with, with credit card on the, on the account. You got yeah. issues. And uh, so I, to some people, I already gave her email address so that they can transfer money. Yeah. Uh, maybe we, we can check with, with, with her. We'll check with Sharon to... if, if we can put an email. But yeah. regardless, I'm going to put the GoFundMe. I mean, you can see the page. I've stuck it up here. Yeah. But if not below, there'll be the link to the GoFundMe. So please go there and yeah. support They're what amazing. you can. They're amazing yeah. people. Amazing couple also. If you see how they work with each other, ah, it's amazing. So much love. 
There's so I, much love. I had a chat with Sharon too. many years ago on via email and then recently yeah. as well when um, I had a chat with her. She's she's a, a real pillar in the mask community and of course within her family as well. So, I mean, I guess hmm. this is why we're talking about this is yeah. it. You know, don't. Yeah. So don't miss out on this. It's it's not something that you're just going to have for your collection. This is a piece of history. We it it looks great together, but you've supported something that is you, you supported our childhood heroes. I mean, these are yeah. our guys that have done yeah. everything, um, which makes us remember our, our past. Um, but yeah, this is just phenomenal. So is this a limited release? Are you going to make more yeah. of these? Well, I, I said I was going to make a hundred, but you know, I think it's more important to keep it to a hundred for the for the collector and for the rescue mission. But with this one, I don't think people will care. You no, know, I don't so think so. No, I mean, no this matter. One, yeah, this one yeah, should if be. I a, run, if I run out, I will keep making more. You know, and uh, it's. And uh, I think it's important it's, to know. So hmm. everything goes to Sharon. You know, you are not keeping a, a, a cent of no. anything that you've made no. from this box. Okay, like, I, like I said, the money, the money that I used to to uh, pay, you know, to make them. I didn't get out of the pot, you know, so, so everything that comes in goes directly there. I'm not yeah. taking the money out to recover the, the cost. Yeah. That's my share for Sharon. And uh, yeah. No, I think that's uh, amazing. Uh, I think yeah. this is why we have such a, a strong community that we have people who are, yeah. who are willing to do things like you have. And I think uh, a lot of people and you've never, ever made it. You've, you've never, ever tried to take credit for this this is something you've always done on no. the on the back end and yeah i i, yeah, I, I, really, of... I really admire that uh, some might want to yeah. kind of show that they have that they're trying to promote it but i think um it doesn't matter who started it and i think that's yeah. the, the view that all of us have um in yeah. at least the majority of us i can't say all there's always a few black sheep but the majority of us are, are committed to helping out and i think yeah. it, it's it's wonderful and um I, I do hope yeah. Sharon and Brendan get a chance to see this and, and realize the, uh, I just want to shout out again, the appreciation that um, the community as a whole have for you. You guys yeah. made our childhood. We talk about mask as a toy, as a cartoon. The cartoon would be nothing without the voice actors. I mean, Sharon did the, even the supercomputer and that is one of the more most yeah. iconic yeah. things, right? And yeah. if I think supercomputer, I think of, Sharon, because I know she does it. So if you don't know, Sharon's voice is the supercomputer. She did all the, all the female characters. Right. She did all the yeah. kids. She did all the animals, except yeah, for Scott. Yeah, yeah. Except for Scott. Yeah. All the kids, except for Scott, and the supercomputer. So, and man, supercomputer is something that has even kind of made me realize I might like customs. I wasn't a huge custom fan. So, but the supercomputer yeah. that West did is something that brought me into the custom world. So, yeah, yeah. it's the same with me. You know. I was never a custom fan, but also, for instance, like when I made this box, I felt like it's a custom, you know. Yes. Yes. And and then and then I, you know, if if I think about custom, I think about Wes. You know, Wes is, in my opinion, the custom guy. You know, but uh, since I saw this interview with Wes, I got really excited, also. You know, so it it was just amazing, amazing uh, episode. You know, and I I think it also uh, showed what creativity he has and, and 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 stuff like that and he actually lives around the corner that's the scary part the guy lives around the corner maybe one day we can have a chat the the three of us so you guys can meet up if you want and have a chat it's directly there, and nice. we will put it then on the channel yeah. i think that would be quite quite fun yeah because at least we have something that is a mm -hmm. bit more personal i mean this is already i'm so happy to speak to you this way as opposed to just yeah. chatting and on the phone this is just gives us another level of talking but you know what? I just realized we got distracted, but in a really positive way. I mean, talking about Sharon, I think was, and your Venom's Revenge is we went to Steinerdorf and we came back here because they are all interlinked together. The stories, right? Um, I just want to know about your product. So it will have been launched already by the time this is out. How I much is that going to go for? Do you have any idea at all? Are so, we keeping the price uh, secret? I'm thinking... Or? maybe yeah. 30 euros or something like that probably yeah and there are only it's going to be wow. this, this is i don't know if we said this oh already but God, there will only be 30 made only 30 will be made yeah oh my god um 
So we will, we will announce it, it, of course, how on, on, the, on Steindorf. And then there we will also tell them how they can get it. We're not sure yet if we will put it in the store in Steindorf or if we're going to do it just like the boxes that they can send me an email. Um, yeah. for, me, for me, it will be easier to, to do it with Steindorf because they, they are pieces. used to packing stuff wow. and sending out and, and, and you know that kind of stuff. With me lately, it, work is up till here and... I work every night till 11 and then I wake up well and then I want my cozy moments you know and then I go to bed at 2 and then I start working at 8 again so and I want to play with my toys exactly pew pew and you want to play with your toys <laughs> 30 pieces yeah 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 <laughs> 30 pieces um yeah Jeez, yeah. um please yeah please, and, uh, and uh, one here just uh, <laughs> Also, an uh, amazing shout no, out to, and, um, to Edwin, you know, he's my yeah. bi business partner, you know, I know him also for years and uh, we used to do flash, you know, flash animations and, uh, uh, well, I, I continued on with interactive interaction yeah. design and, and he is a, a huge 3D developer. So we work a lot together and uh, yeah, it's, it's just amazing what this guy makes and he said like, ah, I'm I'm also uh, doing paintings. I saw some paintings from him already that looked really amazing. And uh, uh, I said, like, well, I'm working on this this cassette. Maybe you want to join in uh, to do the cover art, you know? He's like, yeah. So I sent the pictures of, you know, Jackhammer, because Jackhammer is my favorite one. And Slingshot is Sebastian's favorite one. So... Uh, uh, we made it, you know, we made it look like they were in a battle and everything. And uh, I sent him pictures and he put that in the back and started painting over it. But he worked with boxes and to, to get the per perfect perspective. And the, I, it, man, I, I was already blown away with the first picture he sh shared with me. And then he's like, yeah, with this, we're now going to do some fine tuning. I'm going to put mud on, on the jackhammer. I was like, what? And the good part is, because I know a lot of people are already fan of this art, because, uh, yeah, it's not, yeah. It's here. Go you can watch, look at it right here. This art is absolutely amazing. It's, it's, mm. when I saw this, I, I was like, Process. and I saw those design, the, the first version, and I also was blown away. Yeah. And you said, oh, this is just mind, the start. And I'm like, blowing. what the? No, no, yeah. no, mind-blowing. But really. sorry, like, I interrupted I was, you. You know, I, I know it's the product that yeah. we are making, but like, I, I was like, what the hell? You know, <laughs> it's like shit. I didn't know this, you know. We, we... I mean, I asked you when I saw that art, I, as I said yeah. before, so I'm, I'm blown away with what it's become. I thought this was going to be a calendar, but I remember when you showed yeah. me that artwork, my first thing making, I asked you is, this yeah, is going to be a making, poster, right? So I thought it was actually a first poster. Cassette, so is it going to be a poster? But you we're going to make bigger ones awesome. for posters, just because, you know, all the credit yeah. goes to Advent for this amazing art. It's just amazing piece, man. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. put a link, yeah. we'll put a link yeah. here to his... Instagram, then, I believe. Yes, he. We have chatted on. We have chatted on Instagram. It's it's phenomenal. Anyone? There was some other guy who I saw on Instagram, and which is why I thought this was a calendar. I was convinced because yeah. I saw this art. I thought this was going to be front cover, yeah. and yeah. there was another guy posting yeah. some pictures of yeah. the toys, yeah, well, right? Photos sure of the Instagram toys. So I thought that Mark. might be the yearly ones. Uh, and, um, and I, I'm, yeah, I, I forgot about the the Instagram name. I'm, uh, you know, it's age age, but uh, I. I I first was working with another guy, but he disappeared from the internet. So I thought like, okay, shit, now I don't have a guy to put pictures, you know, because in the inlay you have the, the amazing, you know, <laughs> setup, like a Thunderhawk in the air and like really, really cool setup. Like I, I wanted to recreate that, that picture. But then I saw Mark's uh, yeah. pictures and I was like, wait a second, th this is also cool. Cause you know, it's 2020, it can have a little bit of a different feeling. But he, he's always making pictures of really um, yeah. new toys, you know, new toy lines and stuff like that. And, uh, but it's, it just looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So we started yeah. talking, he started talking with me. I said, now that I'm talking with you, you know, I said, maybe I, I would love to use your pictures in, in, in one of my products. And he said, yeah, sure. I said, I said it's for masks. He said, well, I'm, I'm not used to making pictures of masks, but I love masks. And then you see that he has a passion for it also. He said, I'm going to my parents' house cool. to pick up masks and I will, we'll see what I can do. I'll make some pictures. I was like, okay, that's cool. So 
you know, he he made uh, pictures and shared with yeah. me. He said, I'm going to put different figures in different vehicles. I said, he said, they don't match up. I said, no, that's fine. He said, I like doing that. I said, that's what we used to do as kids when we were playing. So keep it as, as real as it can get, you know? And I was, I was amazed with the picture. So I, I picked, we picked one. Exactly. And uh, that's the one I use. I, I placed his name in there. But the cool part is like there's text in there. And Sebastian helped me with the German text. I know German. You know, I can, I, I can hear everything. I can speak a little bit of German. But uh, when I'm going to write it, it no, not my, not my cup of tea. Uh, so he helped me out with the text. And, uh, uh, but I did some twitches in the text because it says, for instance, uh, mask is now available on VHS. And then I made mask is now available on DVD, you know, those kinds of, of things. So, you know what, you, 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 you say this and I, I just have to look over because this is one of my favorite pieces. Ah, so it, it exactly that's does amazing. that, right? Ca catch it on video because uh, that's an that amazing the, piece, man. That's the ultimate that, I never solution. saw that. I never saw that. And the artwork on that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I, I shall, I, I'm actually tempted. I think I'm going to oh, maybe yeah. scan this guy in and make it as posters available yeah. for people as well. I think that might be yeah. a might be a, a good idea if fans want to be able to pick up a copy and you know just um, anything that can kind of keep because I think this looks cool on the wall. So I anything that kind of stimulates. But I I'm super excited for this product mm. and um, I, I man, you guys better rush to Steinerdorf because yeah, let's see, <laughs> I can't let's imagine see this thing lasting very long. And your price that you the the the, the yeah. price point that you put um. Wow. It's, it's quality though. It's quality. <laughs> it's yeah. yeah, it's it sounds so let me just it's so kids Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. they'll be able to listen to all the previous yeah. so you can listen episodes. to them as that right? Or is there a new, the, it's it's the previous uh, thirteen episodes. The, um, the the arts of the cassettes are also in there, so the little folders in there with the art piece and the MP3 version of the cassette. And um yeah. yeah, as I said, it it feels like a cassette if you put it next in line, if you put it like like this. You can read the the back uh, the the back titles. You would not know that there's a different piece there. Yeah. yeah. So it, it will fit in yeah. your '80s yeah. um, collection yeah. or your '80s room or your '80s corner where you've got your cassettes and and stuff. Good. It's, it's, I'm going to put it in between yeah, my yeah. first cassettes. I remember getting was uh, "Bad" mm. by Michael Jackson and "Material mm. Girl" by Madonna. That's amazing. So it shall no, and the cool sit thing in between is that. And then there's a Guns N' Roses because it's a cassette and you push a button and then a, and then a yeah. stick falls out. And I just thought about it. Like, wait a second, it, it, there's a transformation. In so it. yeah. it's like yeah. a mask. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You yeah. see, so you're actually keeping keeping mask real with that. But you know, it's it kind of brings back that whole thing of how, yeah, mask has had an influence in your mind that that has seeded right. You, it's kind of seeded your creativity, and it's it's gone on as a as an adult collector. And yeah, I'm I'm just gobsmacked. Um, do you yeah. have any other projects well, coming I, up? I, I assume you're going to be finishing I off the, your series here somewhere next year, beginning next year. I will be able to do a T-Bop. Jungle Channels will be a little bit harder. But the T-Bop is, I think it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, so uh, I, I, I'm yeah, looking yeah. forward. I'm really looking forward to the T-Bop because I'm mad about yeah. T-Bop as, as you know. So T-Bop yeah. is, is the way forward. But yeah, I... You, you don't have it, right? Or do you? I... I don't. I missed out quite a few years ago on one, but um, yeah, I know that feeling, <laughs> missing out. <laughs> I wait a sec. No, yeah, I'm, bad memories. <laughs> let's 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 not go there. Well, I remember seeing one and um, that I, I was about to buy from from someone. I had actually in my hands, and um, I was sniped away. But this was a really very very bad condition. The kid, it was like the child had drawn over the whole thing. But man, I would have taken uh -huh. that. Yeah, I think you might yeah. have seen seen I've that seen one. Pictures. Yeah. yeah, so I almost yeah. had a chance. Speaking, at... speaking of that, you know, bad condition. You know, I people always say like, ah, oh, you are Mister Perfect because I always go for perfect. There's no price tags on it. There's no edge wear, nothing. You know, and um, so for me, it needs to be perfect. You know, otherwise I don't buy it. But then being a collector for twenty years, just to give you an idea. 
a Bruno Shepard racing arena card, for example. Yeah. Nine euros and 95 cents. And just because there was a little bend in there, I wouldn't buy it. If I think about that, because I don't have it now, eh? because I went for perfection. I think I let go on four of them and they were all under 50 euros. If you look at the prices now, like rubbish cards, 500 euros or something like that. I'm like, oh my God, now I cannot even find it in that quality with a little bend in it. It's gone. You know, I, I just, just because I wanted perfection, it's, it's, it's stupid. Yeah. It's, I mean, but it, it brings me, you, you bring about your, your collection. I, I'm looking yeah. at your, your collection behind you. And yeah. when did you start collecting? How long have you been collecting for? Yeah. So it started all when I was, uh, when I, for, for the first time I got my own apartment. And yeah. uh, I was always a fan of MTV Crips, you know. And uh, you probably think, where, where the hell is this going? Yeah, you know, I know it's like but, uh, rappers and mask. I always was fascinated by, you know, those NBA players, uh, NFL players. They have an amazing house. They walk around in jogging wear, you know, and they would have like a pinball room. And, and they have, you know, super cool. Everything is like super clean. And, and but they, they had like the most amazing stuff, memorabilia shirts on the wall man i was like that that's what i want you know because these guys they're they are legit you know all the money they make is a legit and they yeah. are, and they are literally officially allowed to be a kid they can yeah. open the door and jogging wear and living in a mansion yeah. you know who does that you know i mean even uh, probably even uh, the head of a pharmaceutical company cannot live like that because they 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 don't know who will pop by they will always have to wear a suit you know another jogging suit just a real tie <laughs> and everything so I was like, man, I want that life, you know? And uh, so th that, that was always my, my fascination. And I was like, what, what is cool to put in my house? You know, and we're talking about a shitty apartment, huh? It's nothing special, but I was so excited with this apartment. I was like, I'm going to make this MPV Crips, you know? So I thought about, hey, wait a second. Maybe they have those mask figures still on card, you know? So I went on eBay and there they were, nine euros and 95 cents. I was like, let's do it, you know? Yeah. So and this I was when? Few. This was in the 90s or 2000? Uh, I was, uh, I, got the, I got the house when I was 22. Okay. So, so about that's uh, 20 years about back. 20 years yeah, ago. about 20 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I, I, bought, I bought a few and, and I put them there. And, uh, and then I remember, uh, because in 2005, uh that's when i think I, I became collecting more and more not not specifically only mass but i got everything like brave star like uh, the, uh not thundercats but like um visionaries uh police academy teenage mutant ninja turtles everything i, I, I know that feeling <laughs> yeah but because i'm minimalistic you know i like really a, a, a tidy house everything needs to be nice and everything I was like, oh my God. Then sometimes I got stressed because I was like, oh my God, I got too much shit. You know, I need to get rid of it. I'm going to focus. I'm going to put focus on masks. I'm going to focus on this and that. <laughs> so I sold all my Masters of the Universe cards, man. I ran, man. Alpha graded 85. I are. Uh... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking at my. dumbest my... move I've ever done. Yeah. Uh, I think all of us have done something. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. No, but I kept my mask. I kept my Starcom. I kept uh my filmation ghostbusters because that's my second love I and love there's a couple filmation. of he-man still on the shelf i see on the top yeah i, I can... bought i bought them back <laughs> <laughs> i bought them back I, bought, I was like man i need them i need them <laughs> and uh, but my my buddy uh lodi uh which probably also nobody knows but he is also a real you know a massive universe collector but also just like me he doesn't tell anything about it he doesn't tell anyone about it because i didn't even know it you know we used to skateboard together and we were making uh, uh, a rap video together and uh, um, it was, yeah, it was fun times. They were making videos. I made their website and everything. And he came to me and he's like, hey, you got Carter's figures there? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when I realized that he has Masters of the Universe. I was like, I didn't know that. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge Masters of the Universe. He has, he has I think, three Eternias. Crazy. Damn. Crazy. We did a picture shoot with him uh, last time because he is about to sell uh, one. So just so Could you know, I put that up? You showed me that picture. It's coming to the market soon. It's, it's an amazing yeah, I cannot, picture. I cannot. No, he didn't want that because he's uh, a little okay. bit like... Uh, yeah, you know, it's... Okay, then let me put it in perspective. Uh, we're, we're talking like 
uh, a, a ternia that was sealed, right? And it looked like it would probably grade 85, yeah. I think. It, it was just yeah. nuts. But what I liked about it that didn't... picture was the you had Boulder Hill next to it, your Boulder Hill. And the size difference was just insane. It looked like... It yeah. was like this. Yeah. yeah, it was really like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. Man, yeah. so... The story behind was also cool, but you will probably tell that story one day in a motor vehicle uh, <laughs> in a motor site yeah, yeah. now we're, we're yeah. here to talk about mask and um why don't you show us some of your pieces i mean yeah so it's do you have anything well, in particular that is your favorite let, let's move there let, let's let, let's have a let's let's I'll have, have a look. Look. and we're gonna move over there yeah. we go so this, awesome. this is I, I just love your layout. It's super clean, as you say. And I see this massive boulder yeah. hill on the side, which I want to come to in a sec. Exactly. Is that that's yeah. your own boulder hill, right? It's my own boulder hill. Mainly the 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 boxes are all uh, mine uh, from my childhood. So, for instance, I had a the detonator, the afterburner, and I had a vandal that is there. Yeah. And I bought those in Italy a few years ago for 105 euros, and they were all sealed. And they, <laughs> those like types the of deals, I, I love the, the, the searching and, and stuff. These are my, the Filmation Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, and so this is a little bit of everything. You see, Komodo, they are just piled up in there. And yep. these are from my own childhood. So that, that basically is the closet of other stuff. And then here, it's all masks. It's all masks. And you know what? Your own childhood toys, I think, are always the most special toys. And oh my God, I see something yep. there, which whether you want to show or not, yep. I... I, I um, Absolutely. Um, yeah, so you have one. Maybe so the, this one's I think you need, you, I you, need to, you need to tell people what it is. Because... So... This was... Uh, a suggestion for how Matt Tracker would would look, and uh, what I really like about it is that uh, you know, first of all, the the jacket is just super cool. And I was already searching, like, did anyone else get that jacket? Because this jacket is so cool, you cannot tell me that they didn't use it on another figure, but they didn't. No. So this but is the this was the era when um, Matt prototype. sorry when they were designing um mask and it was actually called mask force at that time and he yeah. was meant to be a truck driver a trucker so yeah, yeah that's him. Like with the boots and everything yeah yeah it doesn't have all the all the elements i it's was cool i was i bought this uh uh from the guys from afa yeah uh, years ago like i think six yeah. years ago yeah. and i could buy this one and a uh, sculpt with a mask from a I think it was Julio Lopez, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, then I chose to get this one because the mask had a crack. And now my main holy grail is to have a sculpt of the mask because I was like, why didn't I buy it? It was like 200 euros and they go for like maybe 2,000 now or something. Yeah. So, uh, and this is your buddy. <laughs> this is my buddy. This is what made us come into contact in the first instance. Um, that T-Bob kind of, yeah, got us connected. And it, I, I, that's what I love about this community. I mean, you through random places. I mean, Facebook things become a little easier, but I, I mentioned this last time when we spoke with Wes, but there's actually a huge, huge, huge fan base of mask collectors that are out of Facebook. And I'm really yeah. hoping that one day these guys will be able to come together through a different platform. Uh, that is so yeah. cool. Yeah, I know that garbage pill card. <laughs> that yeah. is just cute. And then here. Wonderful some variations and then this one is the first shot from maximus mayhem lovely yeah i just love the translucent and uh different colors yeah. and is that what is that Me is also. that a prototype or a piece of soap it's a soap it's from jody the belgium yeah. guy yeah yeah and i loved it because it looks like a prototype that's why i used it does. i wanted to have it you know it does look like a so prototype i don't know if he still has them but you you yes. should definitely so get if them. you it's want cool. to get them so these actually all came from bart bart is part of the mad okay. mask force group which is um uh part of wes's extension so mm. i'm gonna put bart's details he's actually on our mask force page he has a page for himself if you want any cool. soaps he's the guy to go to he's the soap man 
and he does magnets and he does coat hangers and anything mask. Cool. Yeah. So you're showing this now. You want to just lift that guy up? This venom to wrench bottom left, the guy with the new viper mask, the new viper mask, the wolf beast one. This one. Yeah. So this is something that yeah. I know we've spoken about, and yeah. I just want to mm -hmm. emphasize. I you've told me, people have told you, people have said it to me as well. This is real. This is not a fake. There's this rumor going around that there were all these fake mask things. They were not. They were yeah. real. There are some fakes, but well, I got. I got messages from people that say, like, look, it's not real because yeah. look at the graphic. It doesn't match up with the character. Yeah. Duh. I mean, <laughs> everybody will see that. But, uh, uh, you know, it, apparently in Germany, they had a lot of wolf beast figures over and they placed it on uh, on cards. And you can see that it's German because because of the logo. Yep. And uh, in Germany, you couldn't shoot a missile. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite... Well, it uh, probably everybody would say like, "Oh my god, this is the best one ever." But for me, this one is because mm. you know I have a huge connection also with with the UK and uh, uh, the comic books, and uh, I just I just saw the free figures offer offers cards. Yeah, and to me, these you know the yellow border cards from uh, from Motu. Yes. Yeah, the back is also beautiful. Like these to me are the, the yellow border cards from Mask, you know? It's like you have the yellow borders from Mask of the Universe, but this to me is the yellow border cards from Mask. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm with exactly you. the same card, but I don't know. It's, it's just a square with text in it, but it just looks awesome. I, I, I'm like you. I just love that and then, yellow and red. <laughs> so I'm really excited for your product. And if you've chosen that color combination, those are like my two favorite colors. And I agree. It's, mm. I think it's... So awesome, yeah. that free figure sticker. And this is another beauty. So this is a, a hand-painted first uh, first shot from, uh, from Miles Mayhem, from yeah. the Venom Revenge. Correct. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you know, because if you look at the back of the Venom Revenge, I have been discussing this with a, a lot of people. If you look at the back of the Venom Revenge, well, I, I, let, me, let, me just, let me just put them next to each other, and then you will see it. Yeah. You can see, you can see the, the color difference, right? This yeah. is way lighter than that. You can see that? Yes. So this, you think, might yeah. be the guy that yeah. they used for the photo. For the pictures. Yes. 100% sure, almost. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure. That's why they normally use the hand-painted yeah. ones for the photos at the back. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's what I always like when the bottom falls out. Yeah. Uh, I'll just put it here. <laughs> yeah, just leave him safe. Is that beauty safe? I have only one hand right now. Yeah. Yeah. One hand. So, um, yeah. yeah. And you've so, got, I see so a meteor. Yeah, there. This is yeah. basically all vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. A bullet, of course, from Chile, which I also have a, a great story about. I will tell you in a bit. And then here, there's a, I think there's a, yeah, iguana, European iguana in the back behind it yep i can just about see it yeah and your u.s racing series iguana which has got the racing flag yeah yeah that one came from chile as well yeah so, same as this one here's the european bullet some Wonderful. figures here but with the with the the chile guys it was also a funny story because you know, everybody was being mysterious, you know, they came with the Chile thing and, uh, and nobody wanted to give names, you know, because everybody wanted to keep it for themselves. I was like, ah, oh, here we go again, you know. So I acted like I ordered it. And then one guy said, where did you order it with? Diego, blah, 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 or blah, blah, blah. So they gave me three names. I was like, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, and then I had just one name and, oh, sorry, I had three names and I had, um, uh, yeah, and I knew that they would have mask and they would live in Chile. So then I thought like, okay, let me just, I don't have Facebook. So I, I did a search, but I came to a page where they were mentioned with the full names. So I, I had the name of Diego and I started, you know, checking on Instagram and then, uh, 
I came to, to Diego and uh, I saw 30 names, 30 guys. I was like, okay, now I have to follow my gut. And I swear <laughs> honestly to God, I reached out to only two people. I was like, hey, are you Diego that has mask? And after two months of not hearing anything, the guy reached out to me. He said, hello, my friend. Yes, I have mask. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I said, yeah, I want to order with you, man. <laughs> so... I will send you. And we're playing now. We're playing FIFA together. And uh, they are really cool. They're, well, I, I'm only in contact with Diego. But they're cool guys, man. They're really cool. Yeah. Like, uh, I, they shared some amazing videos. Like, insane what they found there. I shall play it over me here while you're going the rest over your collection. Or we'll put it at the end. I might put it uh, right at the end. We'll put yeah. a run of some of just to get people excited seeing the ridiculous volumes in the warehouse. And the Manta, I assume, is um, Chile? Yeah, Chile also. Yeah. And I love cereal, those stickers. Uh, I, I really love yeah. those, those cereal stickers. Um, I'm going to be having a page soon up on those cereal stickers. Yeah. And, of course, the Panini and the Chromie and... I love I love the way your uh, your collection is laid out. It's just so neat. I won't say minimalist because yeah. you don't have minimal stuff. You have a lot of stuff, but it, you make each piece stand out. Like it, it's got yeah. its own forum. And you've got the German cards there, which people love, and of course the yeah. the collider. Yeah, Miles that Mayhem. was a fun. That was a fun one as well. It was a guy that had a lot of a lot of mask items and. Uh, I said to him, uh, do you also sell it loose, you know, because he had, I saw the dots. I knew that they were in there. I started pinching with my fingers, you know, I started like, like really pinching on the video and I saw the mask. It was the red dot. So I said, are, are you selling it? And he said, yeah. Uh, I said, because I'm, I'm still looking for that mask. I said, I will offer you five, five euros. And then he, he replied, this is, this is, I'm not lying. Eh? Well, as much as I wanted to get five euros for it, I have to admit it's broken. I say, yeah, is it complete? It's complete, but there's a crack in it. I was like, ah, you know, but they're all cracked. Most of 90% of them are cracked. Yeah. So I was like, ah, that's, that's messed up. He said, can I do a counter off? I say, yeah, sure. He said, what about 250? I said, yeah, sure, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as you said, they're nearly all cracked. And most of the time it's missing the part that's cracked off. So yeah, to have yeah. it complete is awesome. So these were ones that were in German boxes, but found Buzzer. in Holland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Holland, they pop up a lot. Mm. Yeah, they, it seems well, to be the lot, place. A lot. I mean, relative. Yeah. I mean, that's where they're from. I have um, one which I'm hoping might be. Um, I mean, I have, I have it loose, but I have a, a sealed buzzard where, yeah, I don't know if it's in there or not with that. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. I heard that story from another guy. He's like, can be that the yeah. these are also cool. These are all the baggies from all the different uh, countries. Um, mm -hmm. Countries, yeah. And then these are my my double, you know, Grom stickers. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, you have the full run of the German mm -hmm. card backs. The I mean, the the German uh, one. It looks I like missed. it. The the German ones. I think I do have. Yeah, I think I have, but They're I'm not sure. Cool. Well, there was another one that was also a glider uh, card. It came with a glider card, I think. Um, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Yes. This is the arrogant Bruce. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He doesn't want to look at me. You see that? Yeah. He's uh, like head turned. And you've got another, uh, another hand-painted one. Yeah. So people are going to be so freaking jealous after seeing this. Uh, never be jealous. Do you exactly. think, you know, like you, you know, first of all, I always think like maybe you have other stuff in life that is, that is amazing. Just because I have toys doesn't mean that I'm, I'm something special or anything. Exactly. I see a lot of guys, I see a lot of guys that have old sculpts, for example. And then I also think like, oh my God, I wish I had one, but you know, I'm happy for them. You know, it's, it's just cool, you know? They, they just did a better job with searching. If I was searching also in, in those 20 years that I collected them. For instance, I, I, I bought these with a guy and they were selling them for 75 euros each, you know? It was amazing. But yeah. he said like, oh my God, I have such a cool connection with you. And I just sold the Floyd Mayweather, uh, so, so Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> Floyd Malloy and Bruno Shepard card, you know? 
for 75 and it turned out on Marktplatz, which is a second hand uh, page in uh, yeah. in the Netherlands and they were selling it there immediately for 500 i was like bastards you know yeah. but then i got in touch with the french guy fabian yes and he was selling his collection because he wanted to to uh, get money for his kid to go to uh, to school yeah. and everything yeah. and i got this one yeah i know so, beauty you know sometimes waiting and something better pops up i paid less than they were selling the normal card for on mark plus and it's a signed sample and it's a signed sample exactly that is probably one of the harder ones to find yeah i believe fabian also fabian also had the um ace Riker with the black white and he had a signed sample and i just missed out of it missed out on that somebody else bought it yeah yeah Yeah. and then people say why didn't you buy it i'm like because i don't have to have everything you know sometimes i don't know that's the weird part for me you know, sometimes I just don't, like I have one signed sample. I have one free, uh, free figures offer. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's upside uh, down. And, then, and then it's good, you know? Yeah. 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 I'll, I need to fix it. Then I have this one, which is amazingly clean as well. Which that I'm is really super happy clean. With. So I have one. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's hidden to the side. I have my mm. own childhood one. So the box is ah. tapped, it's tattered away, but it's, more priceless than anything right because yeah. you can't buy that back that's super but mine's super uh, cool. is uh, in english though mm. yeah. but it, it's exactly yeah. the same the box and then here the glutch mm. look at the mask difference that's when i realized that there was uh, variations and uh, this one is super shiny and this one is matte yeah and uh so those are like stories that I would love to hear about, you know, like why is it shiny? If somebody knows that would be amazing. Yeah. And then I come to this one. Yeah. The playful Argentina. 20 euros. <laughs> you can add a zero and multiply by two, which is something what they're going yeah. for now. I actually add a zero. Yeah. And, and that one is the same story. You know, yeah. people yeah. offered it for like, 300 euros and i almost thought that would be a fair price because well uh, no like a normal price you know not fair because it's overdone yeah but I'm, a, I'm also a watch collector so having a watch from your favorite toy brands cool. exactly but then i was like everybody will be will be searching on mask or kenner but it's actually avi friends that yes. made it so i thought like let's delete mask search for avi friends uh, watches and I came at a seller that had no reference with mask or toys. He just had an old batch of stuff and I bought it for 40 euros. <laughs> so those are those, you know, cool, you know, you can buy everything, but like the searching and, and, and finding it for cheap is just, you know, it's super cool. Yeah. It's yeah. the hunt. Then, then it's, you're, it's, it's all yeah. about the hunt. There he is. Yeah. Cliffy is missing his mask though, but I have, I have plenty there. Yeah, I love it. It's so this, cool. This one is for my childhood as well. This one, and then this one also. If you look at the groom, yeah, this was he. He, he said, ah, "I'm selling it for ten euro because it's completely dirty. My kid played with it in the sand. I completely opened it up, cleaned it, and made it look like it on 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 picture on on the screen now." It, it looks more shady than it actually is. It's look it's looking it's very shiny. Like, yeah, yeah, like new. I was like, wow. So that that's another thing. If somebody says it's dirty, doesn't mean that it's it's messed up, you know. You can exactly just, clean it. You know, yeah, risk your money and <laughs> clean it. And I'm, and while you are cleaning it, it becomes your toy. Because you get a connection with it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I hear that. That's exactly right. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, yeah, this is just a little bit of everything. Here yeah. I started with. Uh, this is also amazing guy. Just also just to to show what kind of cool guys there are. You know, uh, rather rather things. Uh, yep. He made a, a amazing you know skateboard reference here. Here you see his name. Rather things. If you look him up on on Instagram, amazing. Also super creative guy. Yeah. You know, and I'm challenging him to do something for mask because I know if he does something for mask, it will become amazing. So if he awesome. sees this, 
it would be Good. amazing. Well, link will be down there and I shall reach out yeah. to him as well. And your boulder hill. How yeah, on yeah. earth is yeah, your things. boulder hill? And yeah. And of course, the chili find. This one. Yeah, your boulder hill, the box is yeah, just, that's my dad, that's... it's insane. It's just so clean. Yeah. This is my dad's work. This is like taking it away from me and puts it on the attic. Yeah. Here's a bullet. Yeah, the bullet. Shipping cases. I love shipping cases. I have a couple. Um, they're hidden behind some of the other boxes, but I, I love shippers. Yeah. yeah. Now I have the, the bullet. This one goes to uh, Sebastian, the, the iguana. I yeah. always find it funny because it looks like there's a big staple in here. Like, but yeah. it's not. It's just tape. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, for everyone that wants to order in Chile, you know, already for the boxes, it's cool. I ordered three times, not for the containers, but just for the boxes because the, the rest is there, you know. It's, yeah. it's standing high. Like, I've, I've, I've um, done similar things. Yeah. But I remember you've, I don't know if we chatted about this, but you are going to be doing something super, which I think is, some would say is insane. I think it's amazing. And I'd encourage everyone to do it, but not to the same degree. But you're planning to do something for Christmas, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's... I'm, uh, I am. What I'm uh, going to do, I'm going to give myself a meteor that I'm going to unbox. Yeah. Uh, a brand new one. So I cut the seal, I will paste the stickers, everything. I'm going to my parents' house to do it. Um, I'm giving myself uh, a few filmation Ghostbusters on cart because... Uh, if you search well, you can still find them for cheap. Cheaper yeah. on card than loose. Just I know. So you know. Yeah. I mean, and, I think uh, you, so. yeah, it's it's to relive that childhood. So I'm I'm not encouraging people. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be like flamed because I know I'm going to be shot down. I'm opening up a sealed box, each to their own. And if it's your own toy, you can do with it what you want. If this is a a memory that you cherish, I think you can still mimic it in a different way. But get yourself your favorite toy. You like that toy. It's already out of the box. It doesn't matter. Put yeah. it back in the box. Wrap that guy up. Put it under your tree. And on Christmas yeah. morning, open that sucker up and yeah. just relive yeah. that. Just relive that Share memory. Share that moment. Share that moment on video and put a hashtag mask force under it. Yeah. When put they, it on, we, we're going to put it we on the page. Put it on. We're going to yeah. make a, we'll, we'll make a compilation video. Well, that would be awesome. Yeah. That's, a, that's a great idea. So send over you opening up your mask christmas present and of course if you've got pictures of you as a kid put them up as well and that yeah. brings me i've got this awesome picture of you as a kid boom we're gonna whack it right here yeah. and do you remember this memory this is you with your yeah your brad turner yeah. right i always used to draw things and and uh you know i think also because you know like i said we, we were now rich you know so i would have to draw a mask instead of getting the real you know the, yeah. that that mask there yeah, and uh, so I draw a mask on paper and then cut it out and then put it with el with yeah. the elastics uh, around my ear and just uh, feel like your breath turn. I used to make like paper, you know, the watches. The watch. And then I would just cycle on my bicycle. You know, I had a <laughs> big pack of cards. You know, those cards. Yeah. And, and that you play cards with. You know, yeah. I put them in between my wheels so it sounds like a motorcycle. And then I would just act like they were calling me for a special mission. You know. And so cool. uh, yeah, that was my uh, childhood. Those are memories, man. Those are awesome yeah. memories. <laughs> I, I just, I mean, that, that's, that, that's what us collectors relive. We're reliving those memories. And you know why? I, I feel sad for the individuals who forget about that. And I feel sad for a lot of the kids nowadays who are not going to be able to relive this memory. Their memory is going to be the memory of their, of their phone. Yeah. I mean, it's a memory you know still. It, I think, you know, some, some guys have it, but they just have the wrong wives. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have to a big shout out to my wife. Thank you for for indulging me with my. Yeah, um, we gotta give credit. You know, yeah. they accept us the way we are. We, I mean, they, I mean, look at it. You know, they have a grown ass man at the home that still wants to be a kid, and they let you. You yeah. know, that says enough. So I think we, you know, I think we need to make a a, a hashtag for that as well. Wives of mask fans or something like that. You know, like give them give them spread credit, the love, you know? spread the word. I think exactly, that is awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Mask wives. It's like army mask wives. Mask wives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I'm not going to Google that mask wise. <laughs> no, you know no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, no. Uh, but yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's awesome, man. I've actually really had such an awesome time chatting with you. Um, 
Yeah, yeah same is, here, man. Is there anything you want to share? Actually, you know what? Before you do that, let me just share something. I want you to have the final word. You're the guest, so you should do this. But um, you're going to be one of our agents, um, or I should call it a host agent. We've got a new project that we're doing at Mask Force where in Corona, it's hard to travel, especially by plane or flying different countries. And so we're going to let our agents do the traveling for us and go on a mission. And for this, Mask and Venom have joined forces and they're going to be doing together, but they're going to be having internally a race and they're going to see which agent can travel around to the most countries, most cities around the world. So we've got, we're starting off with nine agents. We've got four from our Venom crew. So we're going to have um, Vanessa, Miles, of course, our Lester, and your favorite, Cliff Dagger. And they're going to be going around the world. And on the mask side, we're going to have Matt and Bruce. And we're going to have a couple more, Dusty, Brad and Julio. And what they're going to be doing is they're going to be flying off to nine different agents around the world. They're going to be taking photos. They're going to be time stamping it or location stamping it. It's going to come onto our Mask Force website. And from there, that host agent is going to forward it on to another fellow host agent. And we're going to see them and we're going to track their journeys around the world. And everyone can keep up to date with these guys as they go around the world and take pictures nice. on their long ranged adventure and i think that's something pretty cool so i'm really excited we're starting off with these nine um we're not going to choose who gets what it's going to be randomly going in a packet and it's going to go off and i'll let the agents decide who it goes on to if they want to add an extra figure in and split it up from there by all means but there's no pressure on that as well and we see if we multiply oh. that way but i might add more agents as we go along the way as well and we're just going to see what happens and i'm really curious to see how long an agent's going to survive before he goes missing either through the post or a dog or a kid or i don't know what but um it's, it's there for fun and we're, we're here to have a blast. And I think that kind of brings the community together and get in touch and might even get a chance to have a chat with when it's with someone. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. We, we're going to get the ball rolling and these are going out. By the time you've watched this, these guys are already in the air. Yeah, cool. but one's That's going really to nice. you, Dick. One's going to you, Dick. That's, so. really nice. That's really nice. I'm looking forward to receiving it. Yeah. So I Accepting I'm, this mission. Awesome. Anything yeah. you would like to share with your fans? I mean, you've done so much. Um, any parting words yeah. or anything you'd like to add? Well, first of all, I find amazing how, um, how the community is, you know, and especially, you know, coming in as a, as a nobody knows this guy, you know. <laughs> and the funny part is like also like, you know, people started talking about Robert, Robert, Robert. I was like, who the, who the, hell, is, who the hell is Robert? I, I don't know, you know. And then I realized, like, oh, Apple you, know. you know, I know the guy, you know, like, yeah, well, but we chat and I, no, names right. and, you know, yeah. So then you see, like, how the community is, they talk on a, on a regular basis. And, you know, as I said, like, the only guy I talk to is, is Sebastian. Uh, I also don't have friends that collect. Well, only the, the Motu guy, but the other guys, you know, they, they, they don't collect. M many of my friends uh, hate internet. They are the ones playing Snake on their phone still, you know, they... They, they, they really, but what they do like is 80. So you can see that even though the people that don't like uh, collecting or whatever, they still have love for the 80s, whether it's, it's uh, uh, being a Rocky Balboa fan or being a Terminator fan or whatever, you know, the 80s made a lot of, uh, you know, uh, made a big impression on people. And that, that's, that's really cool. But I'm going to do something really cool for the people. So, as you know, we mentioned three boxes. So yeah. that will be these and this one. These yeah. three, I'm going to do a giveaway. And wow. Yeah. To, and shipping is on me. And I'm going to donate also 25 euros to Sharon for this box because this one will go out. And I just have one question. Which toy line is my second love? I'm letting you reply to Mask Force, and then uh, these boxes will go to you. Yeah, that is really um sweet, man. That is uh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, and you still you, you I'm a bit blown away by that. I think that's uh, really really cool. We, we this is not expected, and uh, yeah, thanks for what you've done for the community, what you're now doing, and what you're going to keep doing for the community. I think this is amazing. You're welcome. Thanks yeah. so much, I Dick. Have, I, th I have yeah. some more ideas, but we'll talk about that. We will talk about I this. Have, and I mean, we've, yeah. we have some projects which we've also discussed. And I think um, we'll definitely be chatting for sure again. Cool. 
Thanks so much, Nick. Have an awesome week ahead and good luck with your launch. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Thanks, man.